Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today I've got two completion reviews, just two little projects really, rather than di diamond paintings as it were. Um, a little special drill gnome, my first one for gnome November, and then my robin wreath, which I kitted up quite a while ago, um, and I finally got round to doing it. So I, I will have a look at the robin first, and then we'll get on to the gnome. Okay, so... Um, if you remember, I used my little lipstick holder um, holder there with the bottles in. I've actually gone ahead, because there was no DMC numbers um, with the Robin, I've actually just gone ahead and put all the drills into bags. Um, I was putting them into similar and like colours and uh, doing it that way, but I'm just, I've just put them into bags for now. Because I think what I'm going to do is um, donate a lot of my drills to the charity. Um, that I've been sending things to they're at, they are looking for spare drills as well and I thought well if people are doing projects then they possibly don't need the DMC numbers so I'll send them the drills so I'm just putting them in separate packets as you can see I did get lots and lots of different ones uh, lots of greens and there was loads left over so yeah there's a good chunk there for somebody to do i've just got the two specials to put away so i'll do those as i de kit my gnome one we'll do that one um as a de kit in there so we ha again had lots and lots left um of the white ones there and the red ones so yeah i was uh, pretty happy with this there was ooh, no trash really to speak of an odd little extra bit of um green i think because we had so many greens but yeah i think you'll find that that's come out really sparkly that's a beautiful robin i do like it um i thought it might look a bit flat but actually when you look at it from a distance it's not too bad because of the shading you know you've got the shading um on the pine cones and the mistletoe here and the holly berries and things it's just got that little bit of pop but it does really really sparkle i've had it um on our sideboard in the dining room uh, and every time I walk past I think oh look at the sparkle on that yeah I don't know whether you can quite catch it but yeah it's all gone together really well because this one was a black perspex um or acrylic I don't know whether it's perspex something similar um then you know I've not had to do with the edges if this was an MDF one then I would have coloured the edges on it but I didn't need to do that. I will seal it as well because it's one that's going to go away and just come out every Christmas. Uh, I'm not going to put it away now though, it's going to stay out. We're going to start Christmas early in this house. As I get these projects and things done, they're going to stay out. So I might not put the Christmas tree up till the end of November, but any Christmas projects I do now are just going to stay out. I'll have to dig out my last year's ones as well and see how they've fared. But I did seal them, so they should be okay. But yeah, I'm going to seal this one um, and then get it put out on display and it can stay till after Christmas. So that's uh, Robin all done. So I do like the uh, charting on it, the colouring on it. And uh, yeah, he's a very fluffy, puffed up little Robin there. Um, I'm not quite sure why he's not got any legs. That was the only thing that sort of, okay. He's obviously sat in the uh, leaves here the well it's mistletoe isn't it so it's mistletoe leaves the tree whatever it grows on i think mistletoe is it a weed that grows on other plants i'm not quite sure um but yeah so he's sat in amongst the leaves so but yeah it did look a bit odd when i was doing it and I thought oh this probably hasn't got any legs but anyway you know it's lovely and i really enjoyed doing that one so that's project number one all completed Okay, so let's just pop that out the way there and that out the way there. And we've got our drills up there. And then project number two was our lovely little bee happy gnome. <laughs> We're still on the bees. Okay, just put that little cover sheet. I've kept that because it's got my label on it and that'll go into my little log book as well. So yeah, this was really fun to do. Um, I do like doing uh, partial specials. The partial means that it's just the um gnome that has drills on it diamonds on it and the background doesn't uh yeah i mean again the shading on this is lovely you know his trousers we've got two different colors on his trousers there on this side we've actually got three different colors uh his shoes have got uh, three different colors on as well so you get the different gradients and then these are black 
A Bs, Aurora Borealis, all the way around the edges. And the Bs have got little black A Bs in them as well. The Bs have got black A Bs, bum bum. Uh, so yeah, it just really popped, really sparkly. I love the little pop of your bright hot pink there. And the um, sunflowers have actually got red uh, gems which are actually sparkly gems in the middle. So although usually it's sort of browns and things and blacks, actually that red just really, as you're walking past it, really makes it pop. I don't know if you can see that big one. How sparkly is that? And he's giving us his little peace sign. So that's gnome number one done. Um, he may go up on my wall where my Halloween things were. I might pop him into one of my little magnetic frames there because I do quite like him. And then as I get my Christmas pictures done, then he'll be replaced by Christmas. Oh, but he may come out again next year. You never know. Okay, so let's get some of these gems put away. They're all the special drills. So which box are special drills in? Let me have a look. Okay, this is my special drill box at the moment. Um, it's based on uh, Rebecca Admore Zest's um storage system but as you can see i'm getting far too many now of just the plain gems um i don't i haven't put these sort of like in a different number order and there are some slightly different shades this is the red one but as you can see i mean look how thick that bag is it's foot fit to burst in um and it it's just too big so i'm, I'm gonna have to sort this out i've had to put them this way on because they wouldn't fit that way on now. The bags are just too big. I mean, look at the gold. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, if I drop this box in at, at any point, it's just going to be a cascade everywhere. Uh, my shaped ones are all still in like white, silver, gold, purple, red, um, and all in separate little baggies. But again, that's getting very, very full. So this needs a major overhaul. But for now, I'm just going to pop these away and then I'll have a good look at them uh, at another point. I've numbered these 1 to 18. This is another one of my lipstick holder. And what I'm going to do is probably just keep this for special drills. Because uh, most of them, well, there's few of them go over like 18 different colours. So I thought, well, if I leave the numbers on, any canvas that just has like this gnome one, uh, this was 1 to 13, any that just has the numbers on, I'll just keep using these numbers rather than writing out labels. So, yeah, so let's get these put away. We've got silver to start off with. So, yep, silver is another one that is absolutely chocker. Um, I got to a point where I, I can't imagine I'm going to use... Oh, let me get a rubber tray. Spilling Liz does not need to be spilling. Um, yeah, so I'm at a point now really where I just think, yeah, I've got far too many, so I think I'm going to be donating some of these as well, um, possibly at least half them and uh, send them off. Because I'm sure somebody, you know, if you've got craft groups or uh, things like that, or, you know, somebody just needs some, they're doing special projects, then it would, well, it's ridiculous me having this amount just sat around, ooh, red. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to get rid of them. I, I can't throw things, I really... I can throw away cardboard boxes now. Oh, it does hurt me throwing away a good cardboard box, but I can't do it. <laughs> but think crafty things. I just can't get rid of them. And the trouble is, if you sort of like just sent a bag, if you sent that to the charity shop, I just don't think they'd know what to do with it. You, it needs to be a crafter that would know how to use them or would want them really. Um, so a lot of my craft stuff, I do try and give to craft groups or uh, things like that because you know I've, I've sent things to charity shops in the past and with the best will in the world uh, what I've got two gold I've got two different that's like a brownie gold is that a gold as well let's pull all the golds out so we can have a look at those yeah that's like a yellowy gold that's green oh they're all the specials oh that one's empty so we don't need to oh they're the empty ones it only went up to 13 <laughs> Oh dear me. <laughs> yeah, so that's all the gold in one. So let's have a look at the gold. Yeah, so I mean, it's like when you send paper crafting kits and things to a charity shop. To somebody who's not a crafter, it does just look like a box of rubbish or a box of bits. So 
it's better to donate them to crafters. I hope you understand what I mean. I'm waffling, aren't I? <laughs> But yeah, I just think, and I mean, the amount of money that craft things cost these days, I've noticed a lot of things have gone up an awful lot. Goodness me. Um, I was watching one of the craft channels earlier and uh, some of the kits that I was paying like £20 for are now between £30 and £40. And I mean, I know it's possibly a while since I, I've bought things, but heck, they really have gone up. Um, I don't envy anybody who's just starting out now getting new craft stuff. Um, they're very different. Does that one look... Yeah, that one looks more... See, I, I've put them in rather than having a bag for every single different shade because I suspect there will be probably the 400 and odd that there are DMC shades. Um, I don't know, but I do suspect that. So I don't want 440 odd bags of... Uh, little sparkly gems so I do tend to just put it into the nearest colour when I'm uh, de-kitting these so yeah but yeah watching the shopping channels now I mean I, I used to make all my Christmas cards um, and I did used to just sell them in packs and to be fair I didn't make any money on them in fact I probably it probably cost me money to uh, make them and you know I, I was selling them a lot cheaper than it cost me to make them shall we say but i just thought well it's my hobby and it's um you know um how can i say it i'm getting the pleasure of making it you know like if you go for a round of golf or whatever you're paying for the golf you don't have anything at the end of it you've just played a round of golf so i tend to look at my crafting as that you know it, if you've paid 20 pound i don't know for a round of golf then uh, I've paid £20, say, for this crafting pack and I've had the enjoyment of making all the cards. And if I get a little bit of money back to then buy some more for another time, then that's great. Um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I sometimes don't make sense to myself. So, yeah, I mean, I did get to a point where I thought, well, why buy a box of cards for £10 when you can spend sort of like £50 making your own? <laughs> It's my hobby um and you know some hobbies cost an awful lot of money uh and yeah crafting isn't the cheapest uh thing to do but uh, also it's not the most expensive and if i enjoy doing it and it just gets me out of myself a little bit it just gives me some me time shall we say let's just see oh i've got my finger in that one gosh don't pull all them out Oh, I've definitely put uh, a different colour in with that one last time. So, is that sort of that colour? Yeah, that's near enough. As I say, I, you know, I do. if I'm using these, um, I've got those stamps and I do do some projects with my spare drills and spare gems, um, then I, I will, uh, as I pour them out, I can just pick out the colours that are all the same if I need them. Or I've got some sunflower stamps. And when I was doing the sunflowers, I just tipped them out and just randomly put the different colours. So it actually gave quite a nice effect to the sunflower because they weren't all a uniform one colour. It looked a bit more natural because they were all slightly different colours. But that's my story and I'm sticking to it anyway. Okay, so we've done that one, we've done that one. So this one is, is this the black ones? I think this is the black ones. No, I don't, I've put black ones, yeah, they're like the grey um, ones. And I think, did I keep the black ones separate? Yeah, and I've got a separate little bag. I need to make a bigger bag of the black ones. I mean, I don't know why they do the black ones, because to be fair, they just look like normal resin drills when they're on. So they might as well just put the three tens in. Maybe it's just to make it look a bit posher or something. I don't know, but anyway. That's what they do, so that's what they do. <laughs> right, so now we're on to A, B's and two shaped gems. So, I think the A, B's are in a different one. They're black A, B's. I find them quite strange, because if you've got something that needs to be black, to then put this A, B with like this really strong bluey green coating on it, changes the whole look of a picture so i'm quite 
sort of careful and quite sparing if I do ever use these. I'm, I'm more inclined to use them on something that's like a green or a black or a dark grey um, rather than putting them in as a black. I mean, they look great on uh, the gnome picture because obviously the green and that fits in it. You know, it looks yellow next to the yellow um, and it fits in with this. If it was a stark black edge, I think you would lose a lot from the picture. It would stand out too much and you'd, you'd lose the yellowy colours and things. You'd tend to just look at the black rather than looking at the picture of the gnome. So on this one, I like it. But if you were doing it on, say, um, one of the Diamond Art Club pictures, uh, gosh, sorry, I can't remember the lady's name that does the pictures that has the thick black lines. You couldn't use one of these because it would just change the look of the whole picture. So out of all the ABs, I do think that the black ones are the strangest, the strangest colours. Oops, excuse me. Okay, I'm back. Oh, goodness, sorry. Just had to go and answer the telephone. We are still having a mess around with um, hubby and wheelchair services. And we're two weeks down the line now from the man turning up to assess hubby on a wheelchair that they'd not actually delivered. And oh, it's just been an absolute comedy of errors. Uh, hubby's really, really angry about it. I tend to be a bit more... Well, it happens, look, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> uh, anyway, she originally said that the next appointment was going to be the end of December. And I said, oh, no, come on, we've been waiting long enough. You've made enough mistakes on this. Anyway, they're coming next Wednesday. So, <laughs> oh, dear, that's one thing sorted out, fortunately. OK, so what have we got? We've got, I'll take these out so I can see what they are. My eyes are playing up today. We had a busy day yesterday, so I'm quite tired. So my eyes are playing up. Right, so my a um, my special shaped drills are all in, like, as I say, gold, orange, purple, blue, green, whatever. So they're all in shape order. Uh, again, this is getting very, very tight and very, very messy. So let's get all the gold ones out and have a look and see if we've got anything that's similar to this gold. Um, as you can see, I do an awful lot of special <laughs> drill paintings, but that's because I do a lot of greetings cards. Yeah, that's the nearest one. So greetings cards tend to have a lot of special drills on them as well. So I'll just pop these in here. And then we'll have a look for the big pink ones. Hot pink, hot pink. Yeah, it's been a funny old week, but... Uh, that that's red that's not pink that's red let's have a look they do get shoved in the wrong one sometimes as well depends how well <laughs> much of a rush I'm in. so i can see that they're big round pink ones yeah that's a red one that needs to go in the red so i'll move that one across i've got a b ones in here as well i can't imagine i haven't got big pink ones do you know i haven't look there's no huge pink ones oh yes there is oh no they're not <laughs> Are they that size? They're not that size, but I'm going to put them in with... Oh, hang on, what's that one? Oh, no, they're the pale pink. Oh, heck. Right, OK, well, I'm going to put them in with that one for now. As I say, these do need sorting out again because they're not fitting in here. As you can see, all the bags are popping up because there's just too much. Where's red? Where's red? I think red comes before. Gold, orange, red. Red's there. Let's pop them back in that one. these in with these these can say hello to this lot in here so yeah they are just slightly bigger but if i need them then i know that they're uh, round ones and they're all in the same and then i've just got the two left over from the wreath look at these oh they're small red so i need to be in red anyway let's have a look at red okay where did i red 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 so i need some middle size red round let's have a look are they that size yeah i think they're that size i don't think we've got any that are a different size to that again i've got i oh, love these fire red ones they're fantastic yeah that's gonna be oh yeah you see there i've put a bigger red in with a little bit smaller red there okay so that's definitely that size so i'll put these in here 
just about to pit, tip the bag into the chew block. That's how tired I am. Brain is working backwards. Way. That'll be fun if I go out to the shops. <laughs> so let's take these labels off. I have one thumbnail at the moment. Nails are not good, but uh, they're okay just for peeling those off. And then white, and I think white is at the front. That's silver, are these white? Yeah, these are white, so great for snowflakes and things, these. Okay, so these are like the medium size sort of half pearls, but they are a very pearly coating on them. Uh, are they that one? I think they're that one. Is that the same size as that one? Do you know, I think I've got two bags of that one. Okay, we'll, we'll put those together. We'll merge those together. That's because when I've been doing it, look, I've not... Oh, are they slightly different sizes? No, oh, I think I've put two sizes in with one in both bags. So we'll just put them all together. That's probably the easiest thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. I try to get organised. I do. I do, honest. Honest, Mum. I don't try. <laughs> Pop them in there. So that's those. So this is going to be a job for another day, sorting all those out. I've got so many projects on the go at the moment. Um, I've got some gnomes to do for November. I need to start my Christmas ones. Where have I put? I've just put... I'm looking for the lid. The lid is on. Whoa! Oh dear. And I'll just stick that at the front there. Oh, I've got an AB there as well. All right, okay, so I need to sort me. So I'm going to put these black ABs in here as well. I know I've got some more black ABs in another box, but again, that box is even messier than this one, so I won't show you that one at the moment. That's left over from my pumpkins look. Right, so that is now two storage containers all ready to use. I'm going to put those there. Put the lid back on that one. So that's the pitting down of those two. That's what you've done for now. So that's uh, post review and kitting down of Gnome and Robin Wreath. Okay, well... I uh, hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have a thumbs up, would be much appreciate it. If you want to see what I get up to next and see me complete some more gnomes and lots more reads, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come up and you can come and join us in our little group. Okay, thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.